They're awesome. The piano, percussion, horns are clear and crisp, and the bass is sumptuous. I only have one complaint. They can feel a little tight on your ears and head after a while, but even with that I still give these bad boys 5 stars. I have been searching for the elusive, perfect, balanced headphones love bass, want wireless, prefer over ear, but need portability, can deal with some comfort trade-off if it means easy operation, ANC OK as long as it doesn't blunt the sound too much. I'll even settle for wired if the sound and comfort blow me away. Yeah, I'm one of those people probably never 100% happy with any pair. It seems like every pair I've tried focused on one or two of the things I was looking for and did them extraordinarily well, only to disappoint in other areas. Time and again, the sonic gods giveth and then taketh. I intentionally avoided beats for a long time because the reviews I read cast them as some exercise in vanity, paying for a logo without any redeeming qualities. Out of frustration, and curiosity, I finally caved and tried a red pair of Beats Studio 3s. The second guessing started the minute I started unwrapping the package, I was expecting to hear Tim Cook laughing at me through the speaker once I turned them on. But after listening to a variety of music genres, with and without ANC turned on, it was pointed out to me that I was actually smiling while doing it. Yes I was happy with them. I don't think they are perfect for everyone, but after a couple weeks I can honestly say they are perfect for me. They don't do any one thing significantly better than any other headphones. However, they somehow found a way of doing everything pretty well, ticking all the boxes in my seemingly impossible to solve headphone search, including price. While I would agree with most that they are overpriced, the question of how much is subjective. IMHO. The Beats Studio 3s are normally $349, which I think is about $100 to $150 over what they are worth considering alternatives from brands like Focal, Zennheiser and V Moda. If you can get them on sale for under $250, give them a try they are worth every penny. On sale smiley face. I never thought I would purchase a set of Beats. Then I did. I am not disappointed either. I'll admit, it was a toss up. The Studio 3s or the Sony 1000s. The studio stood out in ear cup comfort, Bluetooth range and style, but the audiophiles seemed to agree that the 1000s were superior. Although I don't own a set of Sonys, I had a chance to borrow a pair and do some side-by-side -side testing with my own ears. What I found is that as many have said, the Beats sweet spot is bass performance in terms of audio quality and overall, ID have to give it to the Sonys. However, read on for the reason for my 5 stars. I got my set for $130 cheaper than a pair of Sonys so it was a no-brainer for me. The Beats look very stylish and have plenty of battery capacity. The buttons are easy to find and have a nice click, sound so you know when you have pressed them. Click link in description for more reviews.